Today's vlog is about the gear of Vlogmas. Before today's outing, I gotta get gas. Today I'm going to be going through all of the gear and other various things that enable me to make this vlog possible. So number one overall is the Sony ZV-1. That's my main shooter. Um, I've got it kind of sort of customized. I've painted a little stuff on there and I've got the little lanyard attached to it stuff. But this is my main shooter. I use this for 90% of my shots. I use a Rode Video Micro on top of it just to kind of enhance the audio. The onboard microphone on this camera is good but the external mic is just better. Whenever the camera is sitting on top of my desk, usually I have it sitting on top of a Joby Gorillapod 3K Pro. So the next thing I use for the vlog, I've been implementing it lately because it's fairly new. Um, I use this for like outside or if I'm standing up or if I just need some kind of locked off shot that isn't like close like this. I've been using the Joby Range Pod, which actually it's extended right now. But this thing is actually extremely durable, super strong, super heavy, super tough. When it's fully extended with the camera on it and everything, it's just about as tall as me. But I was skeptical when I first got it, like exactly how it would be implemented into the vlogging arsenal. But over the course of the couple of months that I've been using it, it actually is one of the most useful things I have because it's allowing me to get all of this, like the, a much wider variety of shots than I would have been able to get with just the Gorilla Pod. So we've got the main shooter and both of the main tripods out of the way. Now it's time for the rest of the toolbox. Okay, so the camera bag. Okay, so in the bag first on the top we have the GoPro Jaws mount. This is something I use Really, mostly for like when I'm shooting a time lapse and I just attach the GoPro to something. This is like the number one option. In here we have the handler GoPro mount as well. I used this in yesterday's vlog when I was running. It's super good for running because I could just have the GoPro in there. The the handle, the grip is actually like a foam, so it's nice to just grip it. You can you can be nice and tight with it, and it doesn't it doesn't slip. It's nice and grippy, so you're, it's easy to hang on to, especially when you're doing something active like running. Next up, we have the Sony bag. Um, it's just, it, it's what I got with my ZV-1. It's got the extra ZV-1 batteries. And next up, we have the GoPro container. The GoPro case. This is actually super nice. It came with the GoPro, this really nice case. They Obviously, they have what's called Casey, and it's literally a case with like, it's kind of like a camera bag where it has like the dividers and stuff. But obviously, in here, we have the GoPro Hero 11, um, one of my newest Actually, my new number one newest camera I have so this far. This is super dope for time lapses, running, like I said. Um, every now and again, I'll come up with something new to use it for, which I love because I love being able to use all my cameras like in every video. And that's it for the GoPro pouch. And everything just kind of gets tucked in nicely. It took me a second to kind of get the camera bag organized the way I like it, but this is a system that I've found that works and that I enjoy. Next up is the software. So when I very first started YouTube back in 2019, my first real editing software was Adobe Premiere Elements 2019. Now Premiere Elements is like Premiere Pro, but cheaper and slightly fewer features. Actually, now that I think about it, it's a lot fewer features, but I'm a simple guy. I don't need that much. This is Adobe Premiere Elements 2023. This is the software that I use to edit every single one of my videos. This video in particular, this timeline right here, this is the timeline for yesterday's vlog, the relationship with running video. The elements options of these Adobe products are really, really nice and simple. And I feel like that is such a more approachable feel for me, at least, like it's so simple. It doesn't look, I mean, obviously if you don't know anything about video editing, it looks super complicated anyway, but compared to the ones that I've seen with my level of experience, this is like as simple as I've seen them. And actually the reason I bought my big PC is because I used to edit on a gaming laptop and that was great and everything. But once my videos got a little bit bigger, once I started using a bigger, better footage, like 4k high efficiency video stuff, I needed something 
I needed a program that was better and I needed a computer that could run it better. So I upgraded from uh, Premiere Elements 2019 to 2023 and I bought the big PC. I wanted something that could run as complicated a footage as I had with zero problems. I wanted no lag, no buffering, no nothing. I wanted it to be perfect. Next up is Photoshop. This is Adobe Photoshop Elements. But this is where I make my thumbnails. This is, again, yesterday's vlog thumbnail. A fun fact about both programs, Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements is I've self-taught myself everything. I taught myself how to edit videos and I taught myself how to edit photos. That's one of the things about the whole journey of YouTube that I'm really, really proud of is that I've taught myself a lot of it. Other than just a couple of basic things, it was all just trial and error and learning over time and over reps and over making things. So we've gone over the cameras, we've gone over the physical gear, we've gone over the software. The final thing is the PC. This is what really, this is the machine that allows everything to happen. It, I can edit the videos on it, I can edit the thumbnails on it, I can make videos on it, I can do everything. Here's the PC. All of the presents are still by the tree. They don't mean a thing to this here with me. If you know where it is, please give him a ride. And I will wait here by the candlelight. All of the presents are still so I've been rocking with this PC setup for four months now. Getting a big computer is definitely something that I've had on the bucket list for a long time doing YouTube. Just the better the machine that can run everything, the smoother and easier the experience is of making stuff. I would rather have to stress out over like the actual edit itself than over the fact that my editor keeps crashing. And really the final thing that kind of brings the vlogs together and makes them happen. I've talked about the cameras, which is like the tool that I use to capture. The computer, which is the tool that I use to create. But there's one more tool that I haven't mentioned yet. That tool is the pocket notebook. I've made a ton of videos about it, but seriously, this is the biggest, I feel like this is one of the biggest behind the scenes improvement to the videos that I've ever made. But the videos, I think the way they've improved over the past few months, that wouldn't be possible without this book. I genuinely believe that. If I hadn't been writing things down all the time and like jotting down my ideas as soon as they come to me, the videos wouldn't be at the level that they are today. So thanks to this book and everything in the video, I've been able to get my videos to a point to where I'm really, really happy with them and I'm really, really proud of them. But anyway, I hope you guys found some value in this video. Hope you guys found it useful to see everything that kind of goes into this. Um, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of hustle, a lot of grind, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I love doing it. So again, thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow.